Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna try to show you how you can boost the FPS on this new season 3 of the chapter 3. I'm not gonna make the video too longer because I'm gonna do a couple episodes of how you can boost your FPS on different ways. But before we continue, I will appreciate a lot that you guys use my code because I'm gonna do a giveaway of two battle passes on the next week. If you want to win this battle pass, what you need to do is only go to the item shop on support a creator put my code slappy and subscribe if you want to earn this battle pass that's only what you need to do and on the next week i'm gonna do this giveaway so now we can continue okay to start with this boost of fps what you need to do first of all is go to fortnite on the settings what you need to do is change the rendering mode to dx11 now apply you can close fortnite once you close fortnite we need to download some files that we're gonna use to boost the fps on this video on the description you have the link of my website you will have the direct link on my discord so you can go on my website you need to go to the last post as you can see it's fortnite season 3 fps boost for low npc over here on the post you need to scroll down and click on the download button as you can see you're gonna get directed to drive what you need to do is only push on the download button and you're gonna get the files that we're gonna use on this video okay once you download the files you need to extract the folder and as you can see this is really simple because first of all we're gonna start with the pack over here we have the best regular files the high priority on fortnite variables that we're gonna use and the timer resolution if you have timer resolution you can skip that part but first of all we need to use the best regular files on the description you have a link of how you can make a rest of point so if you want to do this boost of fps or any boost of fps use a rest of point because sometimes there are some settings who can work for me but probably not for you so try to make the rest of point and once you have the rest of point you can continue doing this boost of fps now you need to go to the best regular files for gaming over here you need to activate all of them one by one once you finish, you can come back and now you need to go to the high priority Fortnite. As you can see, we have two priorities, the default and the high. If you have a low NPC, use the high priority. If you have a medium, use the high priority. But if you have a high NPC, use the default. The default is like Fortnite running normally and the high is forcing your PC to run Fortnite with the maximum performance. This depends most of your PC. On my case, I'm gonna use the default. I don't need to activate this because when you start Fortnite, you will have the default priority now the next thing that we're gonna do is use the programs as you can see we're gonna use the part control setup what you need to do is only double click and install this app okay once you install the app you're gonna get an update if you don't have updated what you need to do is only double click on update available okay and once you have the current version which is the 2.2 what you need to do is something really simple go to the cpu settings for power profile and put the business highest performance make sure all the parkings and the frequently scaling are on disabled now apply when you click on ok it's always gonna be minimized so what i recommend is open anytime that you play fortnite so you can earn a couple of fps more okay the next thing that we're gonna do over here is going to into the next location you can go to any folder now click on the spc now click on properties go to advanced system settings once you open the advanced system settings what you need to do is only click on settings of performance and over here just activate the actions for the best performance and you need to find shock thumbnails instead icons and smooth edge for screen fonts that's all now you can apply the graphic qualities will be decreased but you will have better fps okay now you need to go into fortnite because we're gonna change some settings okay right now if you don't notice we're on dx11 so go to settings go to advanced graphic settings and what you need to activate is the allow multi-thread rendering and the nvidia reflex low latency you need to put on on boost if you have these settings activated you can apply and now you can change to performance mode or the rendering modes that you like on my case i prefer performance mode because it gives you better fps apply now you can close fortnite and the last thing that we're gonna do is only open the epic game launcher now on the epic game launcher what you need to do is only go to your profile now go to settings update to the last version okay and once the epic game launcher is updated go again to your profile now click on settings scroll all the way down until you find fortnite over here just activate the additional command line argument and over here we need to put the next command once you put this command that you will have in the description also now you can close the settings and your able to go in fortnite let me just go on fortnite really quick okay and right now we're in the lobby and as you can see we're getting 400 fps remember that this boost of fps is the part one of couple videos that i'm gonna do about this topic once we finish to complete all the boost of fps you're gonna get the maximum quantity of fps possible also remember that if this 
doesn't boost a lot your FPS doesn't mean that once we finish to complete all the episodes of boost of FPS you will not get a lot of FPS. This is a really important step so please follow step by step what I do in this video because it will boost your FPS. And as you can see over here also we're getting around 300 and 400 FPS. As I've been telling you this is the part 1 of the boost of FPS video that I'm gonna do so that's mean that we're gonna get even more later. So guys that's all for this video as you see it's not a longer video probably but I'm gonna make sure that the next video I'm gonna try to bring more stuff to boost the FPS. Remember that this is the part number 1 of the boost of FPS. I'm gonna do a couple videos more because I want to also get a lot of FPS on this new season. Remember that right now we're not getting a lot of FPS on this season so if you guys want to get a lot of FPS remember to leave a like and subscribe so i hope you guys enjoy and see you soon